join Bear Grylls, and I'm going to seek out some of the most extreme challenges, the most dangerous locations on Earth. And having the right survival skills can mean the difference between life and death. I've come to Nicholas Campus, chance to survive with only the resources of the average college student. Millions of students walk this campus each day to experience the adrenaline rush of college life. What they don't know is how quickly it can turn deadly. And I'm going to show you how to survive. Many students on campus find themselves in this situation. With no money or no food. And I'm going to show you how to survive. Right now we're out in front of Power White. There's a story of a man who was deserted on an island. He crashed in a shipwreck full of coconut trees. They found him on the island dead of starvation. Not a single coconut on the ground opened or even cracked. This is an example of a guy who had all the resources at his disposal, but he didn't go out and take advantage of it. And here's a banana tree, and I'm going to show you a technique used by the Aztec Indians on how to get those bananas down from this very tree. Got it. Even the monkeys would be jealous of me. Vending machines located all over campus are readily available. And I'm going to show you a technique used to get candy out of a machine without using any money. This technique should only be used in a survival situation. And I'm going to go for that one right there. God, it looks like today is going to be my pain. And now we're here in the Nickel Studio Union at Godfather's Pizza. And I'm going to show you one more technique on how to survive without having any money here on campus. This technique should only be used in a survival situation. Here I go. And there you have it. And that's how you survive on Nichols campus without having any money in your wallet or any money in your checking account and still being able to get food. And this pizza is going to give me all the vitamins and all the nutrients necessary to survive. Oh, mm. so good. Mm. We're here at a bathroom on campus, a place that can be an oasis, but it can also be a wicked hostile environment if you're not ready to face the type of situations that you may encounter here. And I'm going to show you how to survive in a bathroom on this campus. Here we are in a stall, a place where millions of deadly viruses and bacteria collect along the seat. Just by sitting your behind on the seat, you can get staph infection. I'm going to show you a technique used by people in China to avoid getting that infection. Position yourself over the vessel, putting all the weight on your thighs, not allowing your buttocks or the back of your legs to touch on the toilet seat and for the viruses and bacteria to get on there. And that's how you'll survive in a stall on this campus. And remember, don't flush with your hands. One thing that people really take for granted is the sinks and the water that comes out of these sinks in these restrooms. Just last year there's a story of a young man who came in to wash his hands and after he took a small sip of the water, he became very ill and they found him a few hours later just dead on the bathroom floor. What I'm doing is taking off my outer shirt. And by doing this, what I'm gonna do is kind of create a trap for the bacteria so the bacteria can't travel. The technique is to take your shirt and to use it sort of like as a filter. You place it underneath the nozzle like this. And what it does is it catches the microorganisms in this wall. You do like that, see how it filters the water, it comes out pure. And you're able to drink it and it's just so refreshing. And remember, whenever you come into these bathrooms, don't allow any part of your body to touch anything in here. Especially when you're eating. Don't allow your hand to touch the door handle. 
And that is how you survive in a Nichols bathroom. I'm about to show you a situation which a lot of students find themselves in. Locked out of their own dorm room. We're gonna go into the library and I'm gonna show you how to survive a night on campus in the library at Nichols. And this is gonna be the perfect spot. You want to position the books in such a way that they'll be on your pressure points. You have four major pressure points. One in each thigh, which I'll use these books for. You have one in your abdomen, and one in your throat. So you want to hold the book as close to your throat as possible, so you can stay warm overnight as you buckle down here in the library. Now we've already tried the library, and the library did not go through for us. So what we've done, we've come to the Baptist Student Union here on campus. We've noticed that they have doors that are made in such a way that we should be able to pick the, pick the locks. What I've already done is gather this branch. And what you do is, all you do is take the branch, you take the leaves off the end. And what they would do is they would use rocks in the wild, but here we can use this concrete and you take it and you rub it down and you get it into a point. And you can see that point. We're gonna use that point to pick the lock. Very simple technique. And now we're in. What's going on? It's now 1 a.m. We tried the library, we tried the Baptist Student Union. Only in the case of last resort in a survival situation would I recommend staying in a trash can. But it's the last resort. And I'm gonna bunker down here and I'm gonna spend the night here. And I'm gonna get a good night's rest and tomorrow I'm gonna get the police to get into my dorm. Bunkering down for the night. That's how you survive on Nichols campus if you're locked out of your dorm. Made it through the night on Nichols campus. I've shown you how to survive. But for now, it's definitely time for me to go home.